amigos de Blabla Show nos encontramos en una entrevista de lujo porque está por estrenarse la nueva película de Terminator y tenemos la oportunidad de platicar con dos de sus protagonistas, Linda Hamilton, Mackenzie Davis. It's an honor. Thank you so much for the time of this interview. Thank you. Thank you. We're really happy because Sarah Connor is back, such an uh, iconic character for different generations. How was it for you to play her back? Um, I was really worried. I was worried that I wasn't going to have any Sarah Connor left in me, <laughs> you know, and it had been so long, and I wasn't sure that there was something new and fresh to say, so there was a lot of doubt, but I find that sometimes doubt fuels greatness because you're so terrified of failing <laughs> that you just keep going, and um, in the end, I did have something more to say, and I'm very glad I did it. Awesome. Now, uh, Mackenzie, your, your character, Grace, it's kind of a cyborg, always ready to fight. <laughs> Tell us a little bit the, the the training that you have to make to prep to prepare for this character. Um, well, first I had to work out a lot all the time for about four months before we even started shooting. Um, and but really, what I found most challenging was doing the stunt training because if you didn't grow up doing karate or gymnastics, your body just doesn't move in efficient ways. And I didn't grow up doing anything, so um, I really had to learn how to, you know, because my I would throw a punch and my wrist would always go like this, and then this one would do this somewhere for some reason. So I had to like just retrain my entire sort of circuitry to be efficient and not do like extraneous gestures. It was long. I mean, it, it was the whole movie as well. It was not like we trained and then we started the movie and we didn't train it was every second of the day was filled with some sort of training so yeah <laughs> cool now uh, Linda how can you uh, describe the chemistry between you and Arnold after so many years Arnold's and my chemistry is great Sarah and the Terminator however <laughs> Um, because you never know what's going to show up, which Terminator is going to show up. You know, he died the last time I saw him, sacrificed himself for my son and for the future of humankind. Um, this time, it's different, and I can't re reveal much more than that, but it's very edgy and, you know, really... Um, really we got to do so much more acting together than than we did in, in any of the other past films in the first one you know he just basically catches us at the end <laughs> you know second time around there was some stuff but this time we really got to have some moments together and some real um so much at stake for in our relationship and so that was a pleasure to get to to, to create now i really also like the message that you give with this movie uh, to kind of say little girls hey you don't need to be always be a princess you can also be a warrior it's important to give that message right I think so I think so I mean even though we're just actresses doing our job as characters that have been written I think it is great to role model girls and just let them know that they can fight and they can stand up for themselves yeah. and they can stand up for their vision of their future. <laughs> now, now, talking about technology, because you talked since the beginning of Terminator about the future of technology and how worried it could be or not, it, it scares you, the, the technology in the future? Yes. Me too. Yes, what? and anyone who's listening or watching should be afraid. What could we do to find a balance between, okay, it's important technology, but not spend your whole day watching the screen? Well, I don't think it's the people using technology that are the problems. It's the people who are inventing the technology that's targeted to our most like base human or animal instincts, like our lizard brain getting activated all the time. So these things are created to suck us in. And then, yeah, we get sucked in. But I think having more sort of regulations about the sort of technology that, that is allowed to take advantage of um, I don't know, our attention and child's developing minds, it's just really lawless in a way that feels scary. And evolution certainly doesn't catch up as fast. I mean, we are meant to stand up and um, 
you know, our, we're still in the evolutionary period of, you know, hunting for our own food. And if we just sort of give, oh, you know, it, everything is based on the survival of the fittest. And developing this and having technology then do everything for us, including turning on our lights, we are not going to be the fittest for long. We're going to be big heads and we're going to fail. Mm -hmm. And AI is going to take us down. Interesting answer. Thank you so much, Linda Hamilton, Mackenzie Davids. It's an honor. Good luck with Terminator. I know it's going to be uh, a boom. And, and thank you so mm -hmm. much for attending this interview. Thank you very boom. much. Boom. Boom. Vamos a continuar con más. Estamos aquí en Bla Bla Show. Oye, fíjate, qué mujer, ¿eh? qué, qué mujer. pero mira la, la, las fechas, la primera es en el 84, como ya lo habíamos mencionado, Ajá. y en el 84 se supone que Arnold, el Terminator, eh, viene del 2029, o sea, una fecha que ya a la que ya estamos llegando y es una película, esta primera fue la que definitivamente consolidó sí. a James Cameron, sí. a Arnold también, y en realidad, bueno, serían ya con estas cinco, ¿no? Sí, aunque realmente esta película, sus reglas fueron muy claras del principio, en que nada más van a tomar las dos primeras las dos originales primeras de Terminator... Como como una realidad de este universo, las okay. demás no las toman okay, en okay. cuenta. Ahora, Mackenzie Davis también muy bien, la vimos por ahí en algún capítulo de Black Mirror de San Junipero. San sí, Junipero. San Junipero que ganó. Ah, San Junipero, buenísimo. Ahí sale, ganó, ahí sale Mackenzie de hecho, Davis. Eh, un Emmy. Sí, ese efectivamente, capítulo, ese capítulo. Justamente de Black Mirror.